Well, we talked about today being a transition day. That transition for you means that when you go outside, you'll see probably more clouds right now than you'll see for the rest of today and all of tomorrow. We have blue skies moving into the region. High pressures dominating. We'll have a lot of sunshine right on through Saturday, Sunday, Monday and into Tuesday. No chance of any heavy rain until Wednesday. Temperatures staying in the low to mid 80s. A chance of some light showers on Sunday, but again, it will not slow down your plans. Well, the main channel for the board of Port of Baltimore should open in the coming days. Alexis Davila is live breaking down what this all means for you, Alexis. Yeah, well, nearly 11 weeks after the tragedy that happened here, the main passageway to allow ships to go back to the Port of Baltimore is expected to reopen this weekend. Now, this is the main channel that's 700 foot wide and 50 foot deep, and it was un inoperable because of the tons of bridge debris that was blocking it. Now, since May 20, of deep draft vessels were traveling to and from the Port of Baltimore through a temporary channel that crews were able to create. But earlier this week, salvage crews finally removed the last large steel truss that was blocking the main channel. Now this means that international cargo and thousands of jobs will be able to soon return. We know that the plan is to fully reopen this main channel starting tomorrow and into Monday. Reporting live, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ. Thank you, Alexis. And after years of delays, there's new progress on the Baltimore red line. Today, Reese has that latest update. Janae. Yeah, Johns Hopkins is expected to make an announcement later today here on campus, presenting their findings in a new report on how the red line could affect job access in Baltimore. Now, the Maryland Board of Public Works recently approved a program management consulting service contract for the MTA in support of the project. Its goal is to address a big gap in east-west transit service. Governor Moore first announced this relaunch back in 2023. Now, the MTA's overall hope is that this will help bridge the gap in transit services and provide more resources to residents across the city. For now, reporting live, I'm Janae Reese for WJZ.